Welcome to the Kelly Rosano channel. I'm Kelly Rosano and this is Capricorn March 2013. Capricorn, you go into March with a strong focus in Pisces. Now Pisces is three signs from you. So this is a reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Ascendant and Capricorn Moon. Pisces rules your communication sector, how you think and communicate, your attitude, your intellect, speaking, writing, teaching, and short distance travel, any travel within a hundred mile radius. And the sun is in Pisces, Venus is in Pisces, Mars is in Pisces, Neptune is in Pisces, Mercury has been retrograde in Pisces since February 23rd. Now Mercury will, uh, join the sun on March 4th and you could be getting insights and understandings into uh, personal relationships, uh, your community that you belong in, uh, siblings, uh, neighbors. Uh, this is a good day to pay attention to what insights and revelations are being revealed to you at this time. Then on March 11th we have the new moon in Pisces. This is a wonderful new moon. Uh, there isn't anything challenging the new moon. Venus is on one side of it, Mars is on the other. So this is a healing energy. So this is a wonderful energy to heal uh, your mind, to heal uh, relationships with others, uh, and to garner your strength before we move into Aries. Um, because the next day on March 12th, Mars soars into Aries and um, this is a time to put your dreams, Pisces, into action. Aries. And so Aries rules the area of your life that has to do with your personal foundation, how you nurture yourself, how you nurture others, your home, your family. So now we're moving from thought into foundation, uh, our inner being. So you're, you're moving from how you think and communicate into how you take care of yourself and how you uh, build a strong foundation. The stronger we are personally inside and in our foundation, the more we can accomplish in the world. Then on March 17th, Mercury goes direct. Yay! <laughs> so it's time to move from the inner world subconsciousness to the outer world conscious awareness. Because when Mercury is retrograde, it, it, it's as if we all go subconscious. Um, but when Mercury goes direct, March 17th, now we bring uh, conscious awareness to our life. And so everything you've learned from February 23rd through March 17th is now the time to apply it. And that was the retrograde cycle. Then on uh, March 20th, the sun soars into Aries and we have happy new year. Now in Western astrology, we consider the first day of the year, the day the sun enters Aries. In the Northern hemisphere, we have the spring equinox. In the Southern hemisphere, we have the fall equinox. So happy new year. <laughs> and then on March 21st, Venus dances into Aries. Are you ready for passion? Are you ready for adventure? Now we want to watch out for impulsiveness because Aries is very impulsive. Aries is let's do it yesterday. So uh, there's nothing wrong with being patient. And uh, now the focus is really heating up in this area of your life, of your personal foundation. And Mars joins forces with Uranus on March 22nd. Now Mars is the ambassador to Uranus because Uranus is in Aries and Aries is ruled by Mars. So Mars is carrying out the will of, of Uranus. And Uranus is uh, wanting to break us free of old patterns, uh, that which no longer serves us. Uranus is the reformer. Uh, wherever Uranus is, is where he wants us to revolutionize our life. So Uranus wants you to revolutionize your inner being, your personal foundation, how you nurture yourself, how you nurture others, your home, uh, where you live. And so this is exciting, very exciting times. You will feel the need for speed, originality and independence. So get ready to burn through all obstacles on your path, Capricorn. Now, on March 23rd, your ruling planet Saturn in Scorpio, which is retrograde asleep in the area of your life that has to do with the groups you belong to, your goals in life, your hopes and wishes, um, is making an adjustment to expansive Jupiter in the area of your life that has to do with your work, your lifestyle, your health habits, 
And um, so Saturn is saying, okay, y'all have this Aries energy and you want to do everything yesterday. I'm telling you, put the brakes on your ambitions and long range plans. That's Saturn speaking, not me. <laughs> and then on March 25th, Saturn makes an adjustment to Mars in the area of your life that has to do with your personal foundation, how you nurture yourself, how you nurture others. And Saturn's saying, let's put the brakes on your ambitions and, and, and consider your actions before you forge ahead. So let's slow down and carefully consider things. But you know what? No one's in the mood to listen to Saturn because Saturn is retrograde and Mars is direct, Uranus is direct, Mercury is direct, Jupiter is direct. And on the 26th, Mars challenges Pluto in your first house in, uh, of new beginnings and harmonizes with Jupiter in your uh, lifestyle and uh, work house. And so you feel like you can do anything that you put your mind into, your will into, your heart into, anything you go after, you can make happen. So what do you want to make happen, Capricorn? And then on March 27th, you have the Libra full moon. This is the most intense and important full moon of 2013. And... This, of course, is, is a powerful full moon happening in the area of your life that has to do with your reputation in the world, how you define your individuality in the world, your career legacy in the world, your achievement in the world, your passion in the world. So we get one full moon a year in this area. So you are on fire here starting um, in uh, March and onward because this energy just continues to accelerate April, May, June, on. And maybe you're feeling it's time to take more responsibility on in a group you belong to or the work you are doing. Um, this is a good time for you to be in a leadership role. Now, this intense and most important full moon of 2013, the Libra full moon, the winds of change are blowing very strong at this full moon. It's action packed with all the planets. Everybody has skin in the game. The planets will have their say. All the planets are being activated. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it's just remarkable how powerful the Libra full moon is on the 27th. Now, the cosmic message for you is you will be in acceleration mode. So things are going to really begin to accelerate for you, I think, as soon as Mars goes into Aries on March 12th and on. So get ready for change. The Aries energy is moving you forward. Now, the Libra full moon does trigger the Pluto Uranus square. And Pluto is in your sign, which means you get to direct Pluto. You get to tell Pluto how you want to use your power. Um, Uranus is in the, your foundation, okay? So what changes need to take place in the home? Maybe you are moving. Maybe you're renovating your home. Maybe you're purchasing a new home. Um, and the message is to make friends with change. Be open and flexible to what is being asked of you. Where do you need to take a giant step forward? What do you need to release and let go of? What gives you passion? What are you on fire for? You see, on one side, we've got Venus, Sun, Uranus, and Mars, all in Aries, in your foundation house, in your fourth house. Aries is four signs from you. So there's a lot going on at home. There's a lot going on inside of you. And you've got the Libra full moon in the area of your reputation in the world. It's at the top of the chart and uh, what you do in the world. So, you know, it's very powerful for you now. This is a powerful cycle. And, you know, you know, the message is, you know, you are changing, you are evolving, and it's about you taking on more of a leadership role in whatever work you do or whatever group you belong in. It's about you being out there now and being front and center and really showing your leadership skills and your leadership abilities. Now, this is a Libra full moon, so relationships are front and center because Libra rules relationships, and it's all about reinventing relationships. Old ones may need to be released as new relationships emerge. Watch out for emotional power struggles, manipulation, hidden agendas, guilt, jealousy. All of that are the lower negative emotions. Don't buy into that. Rise above it. Don't, get, don't let the illusion pull you into that. Own your power. Love self more than the need for a relationship. Love self more than the need to keep people in your life. Now you end March with Pluto challenging the sun. And 
Uh, so this requires you to finish your unfinished business, eliminate distractions and make room for new relationships and new experiences that are coming into your life now. It is about releasing old patterns of behavior that no longer serve you. Cleanse and purge your life of self-limiting beliefs. Remember that these planets only take that which is obsolete. They will not take what you need for your personal evolution. And Saturn, your ruling planet in Scorpio, is harmonious to you because Scorpio is water and Capricorn is earth. And when you water the earth, everything grows. So the resources will be there for you for whatever you're trying to achieve and accomplish. And um, the main purpose of the Libra full moon and the Sun-Pluto transit is to empower you so that you are ready to receive positive new experiences in your life. You're ready to receive new positive relationships that can now emerge in your life. So clean out the closets, get organized so that these positive new experiences can materialize. And seek out positive minded people whenever needed right because that's what you want to be with you want to be with the positive people and they feed you that positive energy and you feel positive and then you go forth as that leader in the world and you affect positive change with everyone you touch now make sure you're sleeping and resting and taking time for yourself because these powerful ascension energies are raising your vibration and it can be exhausting at times. The physical body has the hardest time catching up with the ascension energies. So it's okay to take a time out and rest when you need it. Then you come back refreshed, re-energized and ready to go. And remember, come what may, you are ascending every day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Capricorn. Thank you for liking and sharing my podcast. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Thank you for feeding back on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you receive these podcasts. It's great to hear from you. And I have two wonderful workshops to announce in Florence, Italy on April 28th and 29th. Astrology to empower your heart and soul and Astro Drama with the Singing Astrologer. If you would like to attend or learn more about the workshops, the link is below. And until next time, Capricorn, always victory!